Welcome to Eccleston Piano Teacher. In this video I will be considering the Yamaha PSR E373 and uh, the metronome facility that it has. I'll also be thinking a little bit about how the rhythms, the built-in styles can also function as a metronome. Now the metronome is extremely useful. Uh, as a music teacher I use it frequently. I encourage uh, all my pupils to use it, although <laughs> they frequently they, they don't like it in the early stages of learning. So here we are beside the master volume, the metronome button. Clicking away quite happily there. Now of course you can alter it. Tempo tap, which is just beside the metronome button. At the moment it is uh, ticking at 160. That's my uh, manual cord, which I like to have to hand as well. Right. To switch off the metronome, simply press the metronome button again. Now, if you go into function button over here on the right hand side and you find function 31, which I've got it set up for, uh, you come to time sig D, time sig denominator. Now, the denominator is the bottom number of the time signature, as in 2, 4, 2, 8 to 16 even, or even to 2. Uh, classical music uh, tends to be much more varied with time signatures than does pop or rock. Jazz can be a bit more varied than pop and rock. People like Dave Brubeck uh, used uh, 5 and 7 as the top numbers as well as other ones. Now the uh, time signature denominator is to alter what the bottom number is. So if, uh, say you have a time signature of 2-2, two, two, uh, what that means is that the beat is actually a half count. In, in Britain we call it a minimum. So um, with 4 as the number set, this is uh, tapping on crotchet, that's uh, quarter note beats. So if you alter the uh, number on time sig D to uh, just 2, you can hear that uh, the metronome is going at half the speed, or so it sounds like, but actually it's beating for minimum beats. So that speed is actually 80, which equals 160 crotchets. Now, if we change the lower number to be 8, that's what we get, uh, which sounds uh, like what we call uh, quavers, which uh, I think in America you call uh, eighth notes. If you want to alter the volume of the metronome, that's not a problem, you go to function 32. Now you might find that your pupils try to alter the volume of the metronome with the master volume and uh, quite quickly I think uh, you'll want to discourage them from that as a teacher uh, because uh, you, you soften everything, not just the, how loud the metronome is. So at the moment it's at max 127 and it's quite easy to uh, lower it. I'm going to take it down to about 70. And uh, switch it on, you see how it's a little bit softer. You'll find that's very useful. Uh, ticking madly away there, because <laughs> it's uh, ticking on quavers, which are uh, half count notes. You can access function 30, the time signature, that's for changing the top number, simply by pressing the metronome button and holding it down. You can, of course, uh, use the built-in styles as a metronome. The styles are the various rhythms that we have, swing, jazz, disco and dance. Um, that is, uh, I find, quite useful as a metronome. However, pupils find that quite hard to engage with. So that was a scale of G, played at twice the speed of the metronome, but you can easily say to the pupil, uh, play one note per click. Or one note per beat, I should say. Now you might think that's actually quite popular. Um, in my experience as a, as a keyboard teacher, I actually find that they find that a little bit confusing. They, they find there's just too much going on within the rhythm and they, they don't quite know where to play the note relative to what's happening in the rhythm. But I do encourage them to try and initially uh, that's why I resort to the metronome. They find that easier, more, it's more basic, they can hear exactly where to add the note. And as time goes by, and that can be years, uh, it, you, what you can do is you get them to play two notes per click or even three notes per click. Playing in time is essential really for uh, good musicianship and I encourage you to persevere with this in order to uh, get more in time or more tight as uh, many pop musicians would say. 
A metronome such as this Korg, which is an MA30, is of course perfectly adequate. Uh, nothing wrong with using that at all. In fact, I use it frequently when I'm teaching piano as opposed to keyboard.